The universe is filled with mysteries, vast and unfathomable. Black holes warp space and time, creating gravitational wells from which nothing can escape, not even light. Galaxies collide in spectacular displays of energy, merging and transforming in cosmic dances that span millions of years. Yet perhaps the most profound mystery lies not in the vastness of space, but within the confines of our own skulls, in the intricate network of neurons that make up our brain. It's the mystery of consciousness, the ability to experience the universe around us and to ponder our very existence, to reflect on our thoughts and emotions. Consciousness is that intangible essence that makes us human, allowing us to feel joy, sorrow, love and pain. It's the feeling of the sun's warmth on our skin, a simple yet profound sensation that connects us to the world. The awe when we gaze at a starlit sky, the joy of love, the sting of loss, all these experiences are woven into the fabric of our consciousness. It's the voice inside our heads that narrates our lives, guiding us through our daily experiences and shaping our understanding of the world. Our hopes, our dreams, our fears, all stem from this mysterious phenomenon that we call consciousness. But what exactly is consciousness and how does it arise? This question has puzzled philosophers and scientists for centuries, leading to a quest to unravel the enigmatic workings of the human mind, a journey that spans from ancient philosophical debates to cutting-edge scientific research. We yearn to understand the spark that ignites subjective experience, turning the electrical impulses and chemical reactions in our brains into the rich tapestry of our inner world, a world full of thoughts, emotions and memories. Join us now on a journey into the depths of our own being as we explore the frontiers of consciousness and attempt to shed light on one of science's most enduring mysteries, the essence of what it means to be truly alive and aware. Consciousness in its simplest form can be understood as awareness. It's the ability to experience the world both within and around us. This includes our thoughts, emotions and sensations, as well as our perception of the external environment. Imagine yourself walking through a forest. You're aware of the sunlight filtering through the leaves, the scent of pine needles in the air, the sound of birds chirping. You're also aware of your own presence in this environment, the feeling of your feet on the ground, the thoughts flowing through your mind. This dual awareness of ourselves and our surroundings forms the foundation of our conscious experience. It allows us to interact with the world in a meaningful way, to navigate our surroundings, to form relationships and to build societies. Yet despite its fundamental role in our lives, consciousness remains a slippery concept. It's difficult to define precisely and even harder to explain how it arises from the physical matter of our brains. The human brain, a three-pound universe of intricate networks, is the seat of consciousness. It is a marvel of biological engineering, housing the essence of who we are. It's a complex symphony of electrical impulses firing across billions of neurons, interconnected in a vast web of communication. These neurons, like musicians in an orchestra, must work in perfect harmony to create the music of our thoughts and actions. While the exact mechanism remains a mystery, decades of research point to a chorus of brain regions working in concert to create our conscious experience. Scientists continue to explore how these regions interact, hoping to unlock the secrets of our awareness. The cerebral cortex, the outermost layer of the brain, handles higher level functions like language, memory and reasoning. This thin layer of neural tissue is where much of our complex thought processes occur. Within this, the prefrontal cortex, often dubbed the conductor, plays a crucial role in planning, decision-making and self-awareness. It is here that we weigh options, consider consequences and make choices that define our lives. It's believed to be deeply involved in integrating sensory information and orchestrating our conscious experience. This integration allows us to perceive the world in a coherent and meaningful way. The thalamus, a relay station nestled deep within the brain, acts as a sensory gateway, receiving information from our senses and directing it to various parts of the cortex for processing. This ensures that sensory data is efficiently and accurately transmitted. 
This constant stream of sensory input forms the raw material of our conscious awareness. Every sight, sound, touch, taste and smell is processed and interpreted by our brain. The brainstem, responsible for basic life functions like breathing and heartbeat, also plays a role in regulating levels of consciousness. From wakefulness to sleep, it acts as a bridge between the body and the brain, ensuring that vital functions are maintained. This intricate interplay between various brain regions, each with its specialized function, highlights the complexity of consciousness. Understanding this interplay is key to unraveling the mysteries of the human mind. Section four, two sides of the same coin. The question of how consciousness arises from the physical matter of the brain has fueled philosophical debate for centuries. This age-old inquiry has intrigued both ancient philosophers and modern scientists alike, leading to a rich tapestry of theories and ideas. One prominent view is dualism, championed by the French philosopher René Descartes. Descartes' ideas have left an indelible mark on the history of philosophy and continue to influence contemporary thought. Dualism proposes a fundamental separation between the mind and the body, suggesting that consciousness exists in a separate realm, distinct from the physical world. This perspective posits that the mind and body, though interconnected, operate on different planes of existence. Descartes famously argued that while the body is made of matter and obeys physical laws, the mind is immaterial and operates according to its own principles. This dualistic view raises intriguing questions about the nature of reality and the essence of human experience. This mind-body dualism, while intuitively appealing to some, presents a challenge in explaining how these two seemingly disparate entities interact. The mystery of their interaction remains a central puzzle in both philosophy and neuroscience. In contrast, materialism, the prevailing view in modern neuroscience, posits that consciousness is a product of the brain. This perspective is grounded in the belief that all aspects of human experience can be explained through physical processes. It argues that all mental states, from our thoughts and emotions to our sense of self, arise from the physical processes occurring within our brains. This view is supported by extensive research and empirical evidence from the field of neuroscience. While materialism offers a more parsimonious explanation, it still grapples with the question of how exactly these physical processes give rise to subjective experience. The enigma of consciousness remains one of the most profound and challenging questions in science and philosophy, inviting ongoing exploration and debate. Section five, the hardest problem. Even if we could map every neuron and synapse in the brain, a fundamental mystery would remain. How do these physical processes generate the subjective qualitative feel of experience? This is the crux of the hard problem of consciousness as coined by philosopher David Chalmers. Think of the color red. We can objectively describe its wavelength, its position on the electromagnetic spectrum. We can identify the neural pathways activated when we see it. But the actual experience of redness the subjective feeling of seeing that color remains elusive. Similarly, consider the taste of chocolate. We can analyze its chemical composition, the receptors on our tongue, the signals sent to our brain, but the subjective experience of that bittersweet flavor, the pleasure it evokes, cannot be fully captured by these objective descriptions. This gap between the physical and the phenomenal, between the objective world and our subjective experience of it, lies at the heart of the hard problem. It highlights the limitations of our current understanding of consciousness.